Now what I'd like to show you today are how to use merge imprint within the framework of the parts tree. So what I've got here is an assembly of pipes and these pipes are connected by couplings. So you can see here I have multiple different components. So when I look at this assembly, the first thing I understand is I have to fill the end caps here to get my inlet and my outlet. And the second thing I'll have to do are imprint all the parts on each other. So what I'm going to do is right click on the assembly and go into repair mode now you can do this on selecting all the parts or you can do it just on the assembly so either way you'll get the same answer so the first thing I want to do is fill the holes for my end caps it'll be my inlet my outlet allow the selection of edges zoom into that edge double click and then I can hit H on my keyboard to hole fill or I can select this icon here to fill the holes and I want to do the same thing on the other side Now, if you'd like to, you can certainly go through at this point and create new part surfaces out of these individual components so that way you can name them inlet and outlet. But I'm going to ignore that for right this second. So, I've filled my inlet and my outlet. Now I need to imprint different parts on each other. So what I'm going to do is switch my repair mode to my merge imprint mode, multi-part imprint, and I'm going to put my tolerance to something to the scale of this model. So I know that if two components are touching each other, then they've got to be within at least a millimeter of each other. So I'll find pairs. The first pair is found is the coupling to the first pipe. I can imprint that pair. There's my imprint. So that's where the eventual interface will be. Go on to the next one. Imprint. And I can continue doing this independently for each one. But also notice there's an imprint all function. So I'll need to go through and imprint all the features. So those are the last two on the coupling. So it's imprinted everything. And what I now have is a collection of surfaces that internally form a clean closed surface. So if I right click on the assembly and split by surface topology, and that will extract any extra fluid volumes that have been created. So you can see here these two surfaces have been modified and I also have my fluid volume. So once you send all these to, to regions you'll have interface between everything and you'll be able to continue on with your simulation. So that's how you use split by surface topology and imprinting within the parts framework. Thank you.